morning. I don't know if this is a good idea to do this or not, but I figured let's start trying to do Vlogmas as much as I can, even though I do work full time and I don't know what I can really share, you know, especially during the week, um, but we're gonna try. So I am working this morning, but I just figured I need to pull out the Christmas Village because I meant to pull that out yesterday so that my daughter can put the Christmas Village up. I'm um, about to start working and I think I'll just try to share some little snippets throughout the day um, and see how things turn out. I might want to start with, I don't know, like washing my face, doing those kind of things because I haven't done any of that. And here I am putting myself on camera, which is great. But I have the kitchen I want to clean up. Um, today, hopefully, if I can on my lunch break, I would like to film my house tour. Um, but that requires everything being clean. So I don't know how we can get that going. I have some meetings and stuff today, so we'll see how it goes. But I figured I would pop on and at least record something. So maybe we can make something happen. So here is the Christmas Village. I got this from... I think it was Costco a couple of years ago with the intention of adding something to it each year and that intention has gone to nowhere because I want to add like good pieces, not like the not good pieces. I just realized the box is kind of weird on the bottom, but um, I also need more of a space to store this. So for now, um, we're going to put this here and... I would really love to go ahead and get my shelves um, in the next couple of months because I really need more storage. Um, a lot of times things will end up like on spaces. Like I don't have a place to put my laptop and stuff when I'm not using it for work, which is this is where I work when I'm working from home. I don't currently have a desk situation, which that's something I want to work on as well. Um, but... I really need more storage. And as you can see, this is a little space in transition. I did have a basket here with the blanket, but I decided to put that in the living room because I needed some place to store our cozier blankets when we're like on the couch and stuff. But anyway, I'm supposed to be done decorating, yet here I am. I have a mini tree that don't know what I'm gonna do here. I have a hook and command strip because something keeps falling and I'm gonna try to get that up. It just needs to stay up for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And then this box has been going to Goodwill for uh, a week and a half, two weeks, three weeks. Who knows at this point? But I want to get all this stuff done so that I can actually film my home tour. Um, but we'll see how it ends up going. But yeah. I figured I would share this because I just shared this for my LTK and my stories. But um, these are, I wore these a couple videos ago um, when I was sick. I was doing my son's tree. But these are from Walmart. They have little nutcrackers in different skin tones, which I think is really, really cute. And y'all know I'm obsessed with nutcrackers. So yeah, I figured I would share that with you as well. They come in different prints and they're like under $15. So, oh, let's let's not look at all that. So, <laughs> so I'll link them um, in the description down below if you're interested to check them out. Um, I also, I think I'm gonna go ahead and show my Christmas pajamas that we got as a family. And then I just shared this also for same thing, LTK. And these are the pajamas that we're gonna wear for Christmas. These are our family Christmas pajamas. So I got these are little black Santa Claus. And then um, I got thermal red shirts and then thermal white shirts for us to be able to match. But yeah, that's what I got. And I love that they come with pockets because for the longest time, Old Navy didn't put pockets on the women's pants, so I'm really glad that they finally put pockets on because we need to put our hands in a pocket or we need to carry something sometimes. So I appreciate that they finally got it together with that. And now I'm just back in what I was wearing because I, when I do have to go pick up Jordan from school, you know, I'm not going to do that in my pajamas. This is just a Lou and Gray set, um, which is from Loft. Let me toss it over there. I have a few of these. Um, I think I only have one top though, which I got in gray at the time that was available. I think I got these during the pandemic and they were on a really good sale. When they go on sale, I always highly recommend them. I wouldn't pay full price for them. They're the coziest sweatpant jogger sets that I've ever had and I'd highly recommend them, but I would not pay full price for them. That's just me. But I have these, um, I feel like I have the pants in a dark gray as well as black. I don't really think this color is really flattering 
on most people. So, you know, it's not a looker outfit, but I can go outside. I can like go out in this outfit and not feel like, oh my God, my pajamas. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I need to do laundry, but I don't know if I'm going to get that done. But I want to wash some of these pajamas and um, get some stuff done. I need to tackle my closet, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I don't have time to tackle my closet today, but I do have a few minutes to set aside to go ahead and get this kitchen tidied up. It's not overly bad, but it's just a lot of little things that need to be put away. Dishes that need to be put in the dishwasher and things that need to be handled in the sink. So I'm just gonna handle that really quick while I have a few minutes in between meetings. <laughs> from picking up Jordan from school and now I'm going to just write a couple of things down. I just did a little bit of quick shopping trying to wrap up these last minute Christmas gifts that I can so I just want to keep track of what I got and then I'm looking at my planner and something isn't right. Of course I thought that it was me. Maybe I was the problem but it's not me. I'm not the problem. The problem is as you can see I'm going in chronological order, and then I see that, no, no, we skipped some time here. I have a blank page where a blank page doesn't belong, and then it goes on to the next days where it should have gone the page before. So honestly, out of my years of having an, an EC planner, I don't deal with this too frequently, but the past couple of years, I have noticed there's been like one or two pages that have been a little bit off, which is disappointing. It is important to check your planner for quality control whenever you receive it, just because, you know, human error things can happen and you want to make sure that your planner is correct. But I don't really do that. I normally do like a quick brief look through and then I'm like, okay, it's good to go. But I don't touch every single page and I really need to start doing that. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and make a quick list of the things that I've taken care of so that I'm on track and I don't miss anything. And I just want to get this done before I get back to work.
actually just received my newest planner about a week ago because I ordered it over Black Friday and I need to go through and do my own quality control check. Just make sure that everything is as it should be. While I have my planners out, I figured I might as well go over each of them. So I have been using an Erin Condren Life Planner since I think 2015, 2016. You can go back on my blog. Um, I used to share a lot of planner content. I used to decorate my planners a lot and this is not my main planner. Um, I could pull that out because it has not really been used Let's let's talk about that for a second. Let me let me stick with this. So, this is the A5 size and I have been using this size for the past this is my third one right here. Um for my blog planner. I don't put in my stuff for my blog planner every single day, but I tell you when I'm on top of things, it really helps. I keep track of everything. I'm able to keep track of my goals. Um I need to find, I don't want to pull a, a month that I actually shared stuff cuz that's but like I'll share like my um, my YouTube content. I share my numbers, my video ideas, my blog post ideas. I'm trying to see if I have a page where I wasn't sharing stuff like that. Um, to where I can show. Well, this one I didn't show any information really. Okay, so normally here I'll keep up with my blog stats from Google. I'll make goals here. As you can see, June was a, I didn't do a lot. <laughs> um, I keep up with my stats for my, just my numbers. And then down here is where I normally keep up with the money. Like how much should I earn from each thing? How much should I get paid out from each thing? Normally over here, I'll keep like um, goals, blog post ideas, video post ideas, things like that. Like just a running thing for that particular month but this has really been helpful for me to stay on track. And like I said, I don't every single, every single month, am I writing? Like you can see, I didn't write anything. Um, am I writing something every month? No, but when I take the time and I remember to pull it out, then I'm actually able to keep up with, let me see, I was pretty, I feel like I was pretty good in the fall. I'm able to keep up with, um, you know, like I was so close to being monetized on YouTube. I am monetized on YouTube now. I got monetized on the first. So things like that are nice for me to be able to see, but it's also like, let me like create things. Let me just kind of keep a, a running tally of things to do. So this was the first year that they did the A5 version in vertical. Um, my previous planner for my blog was in this version, which is horizontal. And then when they came out with the vertical, I was like, I would like to give that a try because I'm my blog planner is really just keeping lists task, checklist, things like that. And I figured that would be easy to keep up with. And it is, but I really do like the horizontal. I feel like I don't have nearly enough to fill out each of these. So I get a little bit more room to write with the horizontal. So before they came out with the A5, I just did the regular life planner size in horizontal as my blog planner. And before that, I used their monthly planner, but then I realized I needed more than what the monthly planner could provide. So I went to the horizontal in the regular size, came out with the A5, I went with horizontal, A5 vertical, and I'm back to A5 horizontal. And then in the blog planner, I do colorful. In my regular life planner, I'm a neutral girl. And as you can see, I kind of like what I like. I like this striped look. So I went more colorful for 2023, a little bit more neutral for the print for 2024, but I usually do basic stuff when it comes to my covers for my blog planner. Like I think one year I did the mid-century circles. I just really like those kind of classic aesthetics for my blog planner. And this is my life planner, my current life planner that honestly I have not touched since I purchased it. But I will tell you, I have always been, since the beginning of me learning about Erin Condren planners, I think it was my 2015 was my first year of using the planner. It helps me so much. I would get a creative outlet because I'm trying to think, do I have any, I have some sticker kits, but like it would help me to, um, like I like being able to decorate it. That gives my creative aspect out. But at the same time, I'm also like to be very functional and keep up with like, what do I have going on? whether it's from work life, home life, what have you, keep up with birthdays, anniversaries, all those kind of things. 
And when the pandemic hit, of course, I wasn't using it. I didn't find a need for it because life had changed drastically and I wasn't using it. And then, so I didn't use a plan. I had a planner. I didn't use it. I think 2021, maybe I bought one and didn't use it. Or 2022, I didn't buy one and would have liked to have used it. And I honestly feel like if I had had my planner the way that I normally am, even if I wasn't going all out with my stickers and stuff, that it would have really helped me keep my life together last year where my life was very much falling apart. 2022 was not a good year for me. And um, so I, when I got this planner, I actually meant to order my planner for 2023 in what March when they go on clearance before they launch in June or May I think is when they launch the new planners and I missed that so then I decided well let me just go ahead and get it and just get it for a year and a half so I have the planner this goes all the way until December 2024 and my goodness I really hope I get to use it. I really want to use it and I'm the kind of person like I didn't decorate I didn't touch this planner for my birthday or anything like and that's the kind of person I am I love planning with kits I love planning with like my birthday kit for my birthday week fall kits Christmas kits I have not touched it so I really hope I get back on track with this because it really does help me overall um like I said both as for function and for creativity matter of fact I think now is as good as time as any like let's just get in here and I'm not going to do it like on camera because I'm gonna need to get back to work I'm uh, coming off of my lunch break, but I definitely want to, this is where we are. I want to, I need to, I just want to do it. I just feel like I need that outlet. So I think I'll do that and uh, maybe I'll, I'll work on that later this evening. So I wrapped up with dinner. Now we're about to eat and then we're going to do something fun that'll be in my next video. So you have to come back for that. But I hope that you enjoy spending some time with me today and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.